Well, it's collaboration time again. Yep. One of our favorite types of videos. Yes. We've teamed up with five of our other favorite RV YouTubers to talk about... Internet. Yeah, we're all talking about internet today. So when you get done watching our video, make sure you pop over to theirs and see what their internet solutions are. Cause I'm sure that we all have a lot of different. Oh yeah. The internet for RVers and travelers have has become not just a luxury anymore. It's a necessity. There's lots of people that have started working from the road, doing everything from the road, mm -hmm. streaming, all their music, their TV, their games, everything. Every and for us, for content creators, we have to have internet yeah. to bring you great videos <laughs> like this. <laughs> and honestly, I think, I, I'm i just speaking for me, and you can speak for yourself, but yeah. I don't know that we would be full-time RVing without internet. Yeah, I don't think we could do it without it. I don't think it would be as funny. You think about times, like earlier times when people full-time RVed before internet, and they were just, if the campground had cable, you were thrilled. Cool. <laughs> but if not, then you're just camping. And sometimes it is nice to disconnect, relax, not have the distractions, interact with each other. <laughs> but as a full timer, you need more than that. Well, we've been in situations where we have not had any internet. Yeah. And I will let you know that for us, it was pretty stressful. <laughs> it was stressful. I was like, I need my internet back, man. Yes. <laughs> So we have two different solutions of internet. That's correct. And the first one we're going to talk about is Starlink. Mm -hmm. We just recently got Starlink, probably out of six, seven months ago. Yeah. And it is our primary that mm -hmm. we use most of the time. But with both of our internet solutions, there are some pros and cons. For Starlink, a pro for us is that it's fast. Yeah. Reliable. Oh yeah. Uh, easy to set up and take down on travel day. Yeah, and that's the easy stuff, and that's the good stuff. <laughs> but there are some cons too. Yeah. Like one of the cons is. Well, it's $150 a it's month, pricey. so it's a little spendy. It was $135, and they just upped it $15 a month, yeah. and they can do that anytime. Yes, they can. <laughs> so that's another con that eh, they could just raise the price whenever they whenever want they to. Want. Yeah. Um, you need a clear line of sight yes. from the receiver to the sky mm -hmm. because it picks up the satellites. So if you're like in one of those Corps of Engineers or like State remote parks. yeah campgrounds where there's like lots of tree coverage, Starlink probably not going to work. Very not good be your for you. And that's why you need a second internet solution. The other con of Starlink is that you're deprioritized. True. Because we have the RV version of, of Starlink, Correct. not the home yeah. version. So mm -hmm. the RV version, we're deprioritized. Now that sounds like a bad thing and it sounds like a con, but they say, you know, the speeds up to like 150 megabytes per second yeah. can be throttled down to like 40. <laughs> it's still fast. That's still fast. <laughs> That's still good enough for us. We're not like gamers or anything. We're not using a bunch of data. Yeah. Yeah. We're most of the time just doing like uploading videos and streaming YouTube yeah. and Netflix. Mm -hmm. So for us, 40, not a big deal. That's fine. Yeah. But for some people, it could be a con. Could. The other solution that we have is the Verizon Jetpack. Correct. And we've had the Verizon Jetpack since day one yes. on the road. And the reason that we've had the Verizon Jetpack from day one is because it is not existent anymore. <laughs> yeah. And, and we're afraid to get rid of it. <laughs> we are so afraid. <laughs> so what are the pros of the Verizon Jetpack though? Okay, for, for us, I'd say the pros is it's really small, compact. Yeah easy to use. I had no difficulty figuring out how to turn how on. to manipulate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, even just to check information on it. I know how to do it. Anybody can do it. Yeah. Then. We have a truly unlimited plan. No throttling ever. So that's a plus right there. $65 a month. Yeah. At the time that was a plus to us again, because yeah. it was cost effective. And unlike Starlink, that price never changes for us. Correct. We are locked in. And so that's why we're scared to get rid of it. <laughs> Don't want to turn it off. And, but there are some cons. There are. Well, one of the cons we already talked about is discontinued. You can't get this plan anymore. We got this plan when we were back in our house yeah. and we've stayed with it forever and ever. You can still get a Verizon Jetpack, but they come in like packages. You have to buy, you know, a, a data. Exactly. And so that for us was and not. And it will throttle. And it'll throttle. So this is, you know, and it's not as fast as Starlink. It is not. 
So most of the time you're getting like five to seven megabytes per second yeah. upload and down, which is good enough to stream. You'll get some pixeling. Also depends on the population of the area we're in at the time. That's true because it relies on towers. Yes. And that's another con. So if the towers are overwhelmed, you're not going to get that good of an Correct. internet. Between the two, we have never had an outage. No, we have not. We have had internet no the whole time. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. It is. You know, we're paying $215 a month for internet, but... We're never without internet. Correct. And we know that there's cheaper versions out there. There are cheaper options out there, but yes. we like our Starlink. Yes. And we don't want to get rid of our Verizon. <laughs> don't want so it. for us, $215 a month, yeah, it sounds like a lot, but on those days that you're without internet, you're like looking back going, I would pay $215 a month to Just have to internet have today. <laughs> yes. Because the times that you don't have it <laughs> is always the times that you need it the most. Exactly. Yeah. And we don't have hotspots on our phones. No, we turned off hotspots because we never used them. In our whole marriage, we've never used our hotspot. And I'm like, why do we pay for hotspots? And our phones are Verizon too. So it doesn't even make sense <laughs> to have hotspots because our Verizon jetpack, if it doesn't work, guess what? Our, our hotspot's not going to work either. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I'm sure that these other channels have other options. Oh, I'm sure they're way different. So make sure you pop over to their channel yes. after you get done watching ours and watch their internet mm -hmm. solutions. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.